Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the M3 Market Update. I'm coming to you from Dallas, Texas. Wanted to do a quick video from the road. Um, many of you know that I'm on a metro tour with Travis from Real Estate Mindset. Uh, please, you know, go give him a follow if you don't already on YouTube. He's fantastic, and he's the one behind the camera right now, believe it or not. Um, I wanted to do this video even though we are insanely busy, uh, insanely exhausted, and have been just uh, really pounding the pavement to say happy anniversary to me and you <laughs> because I've been doing YouTube for a year. Uh, those first videos are so cringeworthy, uh, you know, but I've been trying, trying, trying to get a little better even though uh, there, there's just so much to do. Um, for all of us out there, right? We all have to work. We all have to make a living and provide for our families. Uh, but I just have been so honored that you guys have, um, I don't know, brought me into your lives. I mean, it's just like a wild feeling. It, it's hard to believe. And, and so I just want you to know that um, I'm really reflecting on that and just feel very privileged to have had your support and hope that I have been able to provide you with some information that's going to lead to decisions that you're going to feel better about for you and your family. And so while we've been out here on the road, we have seen a lot, guys, and, and I just... You know, each day that I go out into social media, out to FinTwit, out to, um, you know, mainstream media, I just see over and over and over that people are pushing a narrative because they're getting paid to do it. And they aren't thinking about you in the same way that Jamie Dimon wasn't thinking about you yesterday when he dumped 32 million in shares. OK, those people don't care about us and our lives. Um, and so when things do go turn and and they aren't as good as some say they are right now even though we know that that underlying strength really isn't there it's going to be a, dif a difficult time and we're going to need each other to get through it so i know that folks are going to be angry i think there's already a lot of anger out there and i think there's going to be a lot more anger as job losses increase um as things continue to be constrained it's because although people are talking about deflation, um, you know, inflation coming down or the rate of inflation coming down, you know that not much has changed when you go to the grocery store. You know that your health insurance costs have gone up. You know that your car insurance has gone up. You know that your property taxes and insurance have gone up. And so, yes, could we have corrections in those things? Because quite frankly, when things get that high, high prices are the is the cure for high prices things will come down but that is not going to help us in the near future and so as the economist as the politicians as everyone out there is trying to make you think that things are better than they really are i just encourage you don't get angry let's get productive right let's make hope not a strategy but it's an effort and so in our hope every day when we make different decisions about the way we use our purchasing power, which is significant because we as consumers are 70% of GDP, let's, let's be intentional about it. And so a little bit of data came out today on new construction, that's down, uh, starts, permits, et cetera. So things are slowing, things are turning. Another Reddit commentary on Lennar doing layoffs, secret layoffs that you're not really hearing about. Um, bankruptcies we know are going up. Credit card delinquencies are going up. I was just looking at Black Knight data, which is tracked with my client books for many, many months. Suddenly, we are kind of showing a difference. What I saw in my client books was increased delinquency. The worst delinquency I've seen since 2020, my product mix has not changed. What Black Knight showed in the early data release, the source data, was a tiny increase in FHA and tiny decreases in everything else. That does not make sense to me. I have, I have tracked in the many months that I've been doing this with Black Knight for some time. So I find that very interesting. But my point is, it's not the only set of data. I look at my client books. I look at Black Knight. I look at Redfin. I look at Zillow. I look at CoreLogic. I look at a whole bunch of data points because that is the only way through that triangulation that we're going to get some idea of what's going on. And even that is going to be cloudy. But we have to pay attention and you know what's better than anything else. 
It's what's in front of our very eyes. And that's what Travis and I have been trying to do with the boots on the ground, the eyes from the sky. We are showing you so you can see it. And if you still don't believe us because I'm, you know, you think that we're doing this for fame or fortune, I can assure you there's there's not a lot of fortune involved. <laughs> but, you know, uh, go out and look for yourself. Uh, Travis and I have taught you how to do that new home sources away. Go look at those new multifamily apartments that are being constructed. You heard about just go take a left instead of a right. Look for yourself if you don't even believe us. That is what I would encourage everybody to do. So again, I just wanted to say a quick hello. I have been so honored and privileged to be able to, you know, really talk to you guys for the past year. I've come a long way. I've got a lot, a lot you know, further to go, but I could not do it without your support each and every day, thinking about the fact that I might be able to help some of you out there just a little bit. So thank you again. There's a lot coming your way in terms of information. I'm so excited about what Travis and I have been doing. We're really uh, kind of maturing our storytelling. We're gonna move past just new construction to all aspects of this very complicated housing market. So you can reach me at M3 underscore Melody, M-E-L-O-D-Y on X Twitter, M3 Melody Substack, and M3 Melody YouTube. And thanks again, guys. I hope you have a great day. I'll be talking to you soon about everything we've seen because it is a little nuts out there. Thank you.